Today I fucked up by pushing my GF into the oven when I went to slap her ass. Well the title just about says it all. I woke up pretty late, and when I wandered into the kitchen I saw my GF had cake ingredients on the counter. Up to this point I still haven't said a word, only shot a loving smile to her when we made eye contact. I went to grab a drink but I'm distracted when she pulls open the oven and bends over to check if her cake layers are done. Now I still haven't spoken, and I'm definitely still in that barely awake phase, but she's wearing some nice pajama booty shorts and my brain is just like, slap that. So she's leaning over poking her cake with a metal stick or whatever when I slap her butt. In my opinion it was a gentle, hey but apparently not because she stumbled forward just enough to bump into the open oven door, and catch herself on the metal oven rack. So now I'm awake but still haven't spoken, and my GF is wide-eyed and about to cry and so I start repeatedly apologizing but she immediately pushed me out of her way and went to our room, door locked behind her, oven still open. She did come out later and the burn wasn't too bad. We went to a clinic the next day and it was no big deal, but it still looks pretty nasty and acts as a constant reminder for her of the time I wandered out of bed just to slap her ass into the oven. Too long didn't read, I slapped by GF sass when she was checking on her cake and accidentally made her burn herself on the oven rack. As a baker with a ton of minor, and not so minor, oven burns, this made me laugh out loud. Someday she will forgive you and it will be a cute, funny story and a testament to her tempting booty, and she will relish telling it to friends and family. Sounds like an honest mistake and she will forgive you. Just don't minimize her feelings now, make sure you kiss her scar and tell her how sorry you are for that dumb thing you did, and it will be fine. Thanks for the chuckle. Thanks for the advice. Right now it seems the reason she's most upset is that she can hardly bake until her hand stops being so sensitive. When it heals I'll be sure to kiss it apologetically instead of blaming her butt for being so dang tempting. This made me laugh, simply bc I'm a woman with a stupid husband that simply can't help himself with the ass slapping. It's been 18 years, I have ninja like reflexes now and he knows not to ass slap when I'm holding any type of power tool. Lessons learned my friend, lessons learned. Now go apologize and play the tape through next time that ass slapping urge overcomes you. Seriously though, I hope your gf is okay. Even minor burns hurt like a mofo. So you're saying she was looking like a snack? Read the title and my first thought was how long do you bake a GF? She might be more fortunate than she realizes. Mommy where'd you get that scar? I was baking a cake but your dad was interested in the other cake and he slapped my shit into the oven. Today I fucked up by trying to surprise my wife and making think I was having an affair. A post about a dude and his wife reminded me of this incident that happened in 2010 about a year after I married my wife. My wife and I got married in the summer of 2009 and we had just relocated from England to the Boston area. My wife's best friend, we'll call her Carrie since it's her name had taken a job in Seattle around the same time and couldn't make it to our wedding, which both were distraught over. This is before it was so easy to video call and it was really hard on my wife. Fast forward to spring of 2010, and I contacted Carrie to tell her I had accrued enough frequent flyer miles to get her a return flight from Seattle to Boston, and if she had time I'd like to fly her out as a surprise to my wife. He jumped at the idea and I booked her a flight for about two weeks after the conversation. It's now important to note that I'm a horrible liar, and I can't really keep anything secret. I had to jump through so many hoops to ensure my wife didn't catch on, like deleting the confirmation email and such, and she definitely knew something was up. She asked me more than once if I was alright and I assured her everything was fine. The day Carrie was to arrive, she texted me and told me the flight was about an hour delayed but otherwise everything was a go. She asked if I would mind fetching her from the airport, which I was absolutely fine to do. I just had to leave work an hour later than I'd planned. I texted me wife, hey you love, I have to work a bit later than usual, I'll text you when I'm en route home. XX. I then texted Carrie, I just told her that I'm going to be late from work, she has no idea I'm actually coming to meet you. We're quite good at this secret thing, aren't we? 
Smile see you soon. About a minute later my phone rings. It's my wife. I didn't take the call and went to text her to tell her I'll call he back in a minute. When I looked at the text thread, I saw that I'd texted my wife the text meant for Carrie. Shit. Immediately called her and when she answered she said explain yourself. I tried to play it off but honestly I'm a shit liar and I couldn't. She went in to say that something's been up for a couple weeks and she needed to know now if I wanted out of our marriage and to be honest since I'm a shit liar. I confessed the entire plan to her. She only said okay and hung up. Five minutes later she called back. She called Carrie straight away to confirm the story. Carrie realized it was in my best interest and safety to tell the truth. She was so happy and said she wouldn't apologize for her reaction because it was warranted. We had a good laugh and when it was time to fetch Carrie we both went together. TL, doctor, planned a surprise for my wife by flying her best friend to visit. A text meant for her friend to confirm the intact secrecy of the operation was sent to my wife who thought I was having an affair with someone. Oh shit. LMFAO. Glad it's water under the bridge now though. We'll call her Carrie since it's her name. This never fails to make me cackle on Reddit. On one hand, you and your wife know that if you ever do have an affair, you'll probably be really bad at hiding it. On the other hand, maybe you'll be better at hiding it now that you've had a test run tongue. Ha <laughs> ha I've come to the realization that if I ever do have a chance with someone else, which just sounds exhausting to be honest, I'm better off being upfront about it ha ha ha. I think that in that kind of situation I would just tell the truth some trying not to reveal too much. Like honey, it's a surprise for you, and you will know everything soon. If someone gets a text like that, they need a lot more explanation than that. Especially since if they were cheating that could be the time they need to cover it up and hide the truth. At least that's what your mind jumps to when you think you're so cheated on you. This reminds me of the time my current partner texted me a few dates into our relationship to tell me he didn't want to see me anymore and wasn't right for me anyway. For two seconds I was heartbroken and shocked because I thought we hit it off. I texted back that I was confused because we'd just made plans. He immediately called me and told me the text was meant for a woman he had been friendly with prior to meeting me and he mixed our texts up. We've been together almost half a decade since then. Today I fucked up by calling it like I saw it. This happened 20 years ago, back when I was a wee lad with a bowl cut. My parents were invited to a MN Twins game in a corporate suite and decided to bring me along to enjoy the game with the other client families in attendance. Midway through the game, as I was minding to my personal Nacho helmet while simultaneously trying to get Jacques Jones's attention out in left field with my homemade sign, a woman came up to me and the following conversation commenced. Woman, how old do you think I am? Me, um, 43. Woman, okay seriously. How old do you think I really am? Me, oh, sorry. Maybe 39. Velp, turns out this woman was actually a 16 year old high school girl, and 10 year old me absolutely shattered her self esteem, nay, her soul. Upon processing the information presented to her not once but twice, she immediately ran away and proceeded to bawl in front of her family whilst everyone awkwardly watched the scene. My mom, the smart woman she is, realized I was involved and asked me what the hell I had done to cause that reaction. I learned two important lessons that day. 1. Always tell the truth. 2. If a female asks you how old they look, do the opposite of lesson 1 without any hesitation. Too long didn't read told a high school girl she looked like a middle-aged woman multiples times. Brushed her self-esteem. Why did the woman randomly ask how old she looked? Because she knew she looked old as fuck. Kids have no sense of age. I taught some kids various things in high school and despite knowing I was a high school student at the time, they thought that I was 14, 25, or 39. Whenever I told them that I was 18, 19 they would either 1, lose their minds on how young I was, 2, lose their minds on how old I was, 3, tell me they thought slash still think I'm the same age as their mom and 4, ask what it's like to have children slash be an adult slash pay taxes. I feel like, as I get older, the other side is happening. I look at young adults now and can't tell if they are between 13 to 25. I also am convinced I never looked that young, even though I'm lying to myself. Ha 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 ha. 
I wouldn't say that this was a complete fuck up lol. But a few years ago a girl at my work asked how old I was. I responded saying I was 27 and she responds with OHHH my god I would have guessed you were at least 42. Dot. Why wouldn't you just shut up after you heard my age lol. She walked away pretty quick when everyone just stares at her lol. Because people are stupid and don't think before they speak. Especially children. E. I'm not blaming children for being children. It's totally cool kid. Just might be a silent ouch. Lol. My then 4 year old son guessed I, his mother, was 11 and when I laughed saying that was too young he said ha ha. Yeah that's silly. Um. Then are you 14? Remember telling my 5 year old cousin I was 16 and him telling me I was lying and that I can't be that old. That's how old Nana is. A. My husband had one of my friends mad at him for years for overestimating her age. He's a sweet man, but can be brutally honest sometimes. 